Uh, it's a good win, uh, you know, in the midst of a very difficult schedule uh, to get a, a, a win and snap a, a, a small losing streak or a, a you know, five-game set or whatever you want to say. We, we beat a very, very good team, uh, very talented, very experienced, playoff uh, experience, uh, and well-coached. So uh, I'm proud of our guys for coming out and playing as hard as they did. But we were a hard-playing team, and that's what our reputation is going around the league as. I thought in the first half we played – Maybe as fast as we've played since at Miami, and we'd like to play that fast, but we got us, we got tired. I think they got a little tired. Both teams settled for jumpers uh, at points in the third quarter, and we over dribbled a little bit. Kind of lost the rhythm of the game, uh, but we we kept at it, uh, kept battling. It was about turnovers and offensive rebounds allowed uh, tonight. We did a nice job in that. We had five turnovers the second half. Uh, took care of the ball, and uh, just the you know, buddy gets a couple of shots, but everybody who played, I thought had an impact on the game at some point. Frank came in and got, got to the rim a couple times, played D and, and started their offense at half court. So um, I also shared that uh, we shouldn't have take a loss to learn things in close games and situations, right? So that's the teaching point with a young team. I love our team. Um, we get along great. We've got their attention. They're playing hard. They like each other. Uh, and so this is a very gratifying win. Uh, De'Aaron, you know, to, to not score the way he did, but still be able to still be effective, move the ball, and even some of the defense, even uh, in that in that type of game. What did you like about what he was able to accomplish? Well, you know, he's a gamer. He, he loves the, the big moments. He did a great job. He, you know, he steps up. You know, he probably should have pulled the ball out, right? So he's ticked about that. He's upset, and it carries over into a technical and, you know, this and that. And, uh, you know, he steps up and knocks two free throws in to make it a four-point win. So uh, that's, that's big. When I had a night that I thought we missed a lot of free throws, uh, to begin with, but you know, I'm really, really proud of these guys. I thought, you know, in in situations where there's drama, your veterans are the guys you hold on to. And Iman Iman Shumpert came out and, and set down a tone that was uh, very physical and aggressive and knocking in some shots. And uh, he he was very good on Paul George. Just made him work for stuff, and that that was super. With all the exterior noise, how good does it feel for you to get this win? It's good to, uh, you know, in this stretch, to, to especially to get it at home. We, you know, we really care about our fans. Uh, we've got great fans. I love it here. I, I, you know, listening to the ovation tonight, was that was really cool. And, uh, and to get the win uh, over a very, very good team tonight is really gratifying. You kind of spoke on it already about the – what did you feel about the ovation you received at the beginning of the game? And secondly, following up on the, the veterans, just when you have some veterans like a mon around, what does it mean to have a guy like that when the young guys are – reading things and hearing things and have somebody who can kind of settle them down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. You know, those guys are, with the experience uh, that they've been through, they've, they've seen things and they can, you know, they can call BS like, you know, this is, this is what's going on here. But when you talk about 19 and 20-year-old guys, you're talking about still a, a, an AAU mindset, you know. And so to have a, a veteran voice in there is, is terrific. And, yeah, I, I, I appreciated the, the, the uh, pregame. Dave, how about the way Marvin played in that second half after kind of struggling a little bit in the first half? It was good. You know, he's every night is something different and a new adventure for him, and, and he learns something new. Uh, and he's a sponge, so what he's really able to do is apply it later in the same games a lot of times. So he's fun to pull over to the side and go because he's being played by a smaller guy tonight. And so then, you know, maybe we don't want him in as many pick and rolls. Where can we get him where they can't help? Uh, maybe it's, you know, we like to certainly put it to him in the post, but can we get him facing up? in front of the basket at the elbows, and he's learning. He put his shoulder in. Jeremy Grant is a very good defender. Uh, and so, he, you know, the second half, and then he, he has an impact on the game. With He had three offensive rebounds, I think, in the first half. And, and he just around the basket and making some plays and getting rebounds on free throws. I mean, last game we played them, they had three offensive rebounds on free throws. He skies up there in a critical point of the game and gets a you know defensive rebound on a free throw. Little stuff like that that helps you win. Coach, um you said, I think, right before the season started, I may be wrong on the time, but you said you serve many masters when it comes to, you know, minutes and playing time. Um, I'm curious whether that's, you know, you still feel that way, just a team like? Yeah, no, I certainly do. I mean, we've got a lot of bigs, and so it's, it's difficult to play them all. And, you know, by the way, nobody beat Zach Randolph out this year, right? So, I, you know, I sat down with Zach and said, you know, hey, I need you to be a pro. You're a stud. Uh, we go way back. Uh, we're going to go with the younger guys and, and, and work with them as much as possible. And there's only so many minutes in a league that is playing smaller and smaller. And so uh, that's nothing against anybody or anything. It's just when you have a big trade like we had, your roster isn't going to just filter out to having perfectly three twos and three threes and three fours and three. It just takes time. And, and then through the course of time, uh, it's going to work itself out. I really believe that.
And then as a follow-up, I'm curious, like, you, you know, you have a D-League background. Obviously, that's like the the ultimate in terms of serving many masters. And, you know, what what's like the best lesson that you learned from that time in terms of this kind of management and, you know, having a lot going on and... I think it's always what's in the best interest of the organization, what's in the best interest of the player, and if, how can you communicate that best. And if we, if we do that and we serve with a pure heart, everything else will fall in place.